look like death warmed up. Are you okay, Jacqueline? Yeah, I've just got some sort of virus. But I'll be all right. I'm excited and I'm ready to go. So tell me, Jacqueline, what brought you to Dundee in the first place? Well, I moved here three years ago and I wanted to discover myself. So what better place to discover yourself than in the city of Discovery? And uh, there's even a boat named Discovery. <laughs> what are the chances of that? And where did you receive your training to be a life coach? At Wright Edgar University. It was a two-day intensive workshop. And at the end they gave us a piece of paper with my name on it. So I guess it's all official. And what were you before you became a life coach? I was a receptionist. Where was that? At a top secret underground government research facility. Are you nervous about your first day? Yeah, but I'm more excited because I get to go out and empower people, I mean, empower everybody. And I, I did have to give myself a little affirmation <laughs> uh, and I'll continue to do so just to kind of calm the nerves, but I'm ready. And so no trepidation at all about your first client being one of the undead? Mm. So we started off Jeffrey with some rudimentary exercises just to see if he had any higher brain functions left, um, which uh, he hadn't. And we moved on from there. So um, I am currently having Jeffrey go out and do some activities that I hope will empower him. Um, I hope to see him doing things that he used to do before the recent events. And I feel it's always important to reward good behavior. So Jackie, how do you think the sessions have been going so far? You know, he's very intense, uh, but some might see that as a weakness. I see that as a strength, especially as his coach, because that intensity, I think, will help propel him to, to become a, a vital contributor in society. Do you think he's improved? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I really do. Um, it was a little touch and go at first, but uh, but I think he will eventually get there, and um, I do see... Has he tried to eat you yet? Jeffrey, how do you think the sessions have been going so far? Uh, Jack has been great. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, she is really, really helping me integrate my way back into what's left of society. And what about your family? Have they been supportive through all of this? No. I ate them. So what I've done is I've gone a little extreme, but I think it will be helpful to Jeffrey. And I've actually brought him to my house as an experiment. We placed him with chickens and he did really well. He petted them, um, he actually uh, got them to coo. Uh, but uh, there was no intention, it seemed, of of trying to eat them, which I think is very important for Jeffrey. Um, so 
I have Jeffrey tied up. Out, I have Jeffrey outside right now, and uh, what about outside? We didn't see anybody outside. Oh So experiments don't always give you the outcomes that you want, but I figure it's positive no matter how it comes out because you can learn from it and you can grow from it. And dig in. I don't suppose this is how Giorgio Romero would have imagined things, eh? <laughs> <laughs>